Hello friends, today we're going to make a different kind of hair bow. I call this a yo-yo clip. So what I'm using today is tulle. You can use uh, also use cloth material, any kind of, basically any kind of material. And, and what I generally do when I make these is just use up my scraps. So um, today I'm using pink tulle and black tulle. Um, this is just a scrap piece of tool that I'm making the big circle out of. As you can see, it's wrinkled. That does not matter one bit because when we get the yo-yo made, you won't even be able to tell that. This is sparkle black. And then I've got two things, a pale pink here. I made a tutu that's black and pink, and this is going to go with it. Uh, I did cut out two circles of the pale pink so that it would show up better against the black. And then what I'm going to do, this is the headband that I made, and I... Of course, I glued this with a hot glue, but I used something called liquid stitch. Liquid stitch to put around the part here to keep it from fraying. It's a wonderful product. You can also use it for stitching. It's very handy. And what I'm going to do after I get the clip made is I've got three circles made for this one. Uh, two for the clip that I'm going to make today. And then one to go on the inside of the headband, of course to protect the baby and we'll just glue that on the inside there to keep the soft part against the baby's head. So we're going to go ahead and get started. First of all I'm going to take the black circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You can measure it out if you want to. I basically just eyeball it. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to take a needle and thread with some black thread and I'm just going to start weaving around the edges of the tool. Just kind of eyeball it. Oh, you can make kind of big stitches. It doesn't matter because in the center of it is going to be covered up anyway. So you just go all the way around there. Just do a running stitch on it, just like you're gathering up something. A gather stitch. You're going to go all the way around this circle. Okay, and then when you get to the end here, it's going to make like a little sack looking thing here, kind of like a granny hat. You're going to go back to the end, and you're going to pull it taut to the middle right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull out this. It's going to make like a yo-yo. Just kind of straighten it out there. And since this is the bigger one, and you want this one a little bit bigger than the pink ones, you can kind of stretch this out and leave the center. You don't have to pull it exactly tight. Just enough so that the pink will show up on it to kind of make it a little bit bigger there. So I'm going to leave that a little bit big, and then you just simply do a slip knot in there. Tie it off. You've got the one yo-yo that's ready to put on your clip. We can straighten this out later, so it doesn't have to be, like I said, you don't have to be real picky about it. Now you've got these two pink circles, the light pink, and you're going to take a lighter color. I'm using white here, and you're just going to start doing a run of stitch on those together. Keep the edges close together. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just go around it real quickly and do a running stitch on this. Okay, and you're going to go around there, pull it taut. As you can see, you can see the stitching on that, you can see the thread, but that does not matter at all because you're not going to be able to see this once you put this all together. So then you're going to pull that out just like we did with the black one. And we're going to make this one's a little bit smaller. This circle was cut a little bit smaller than the black one. And again, I just eyeballed it. I did not measure it out, but you're you can do that if you want to, just as long as it's somewhat round and not oval. Uh, but I've done so many of them, I just usually just eyeball it. So now you've got a little bitty yo-yo. And what you're going to do is you're going to put this in the center of the black one. So you're going to tie this one off. Okay. Okay, now you've got two yo-yos. You've got a black one and you've got a pink one. What you're going to do is you're going to put one inside the other like this. 
and then we're going to stitch that to the back of the felt right here and this felt right here kind of like that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it doesn't matter which color I'm going to go ahead and use black just because I've got it handy here and I'm going to go through the middle through the middle of the black and get the center pretty much of the center of the felt circle in the back just like that go back through a couple times then you've got something that looks kind of like this okay this then I'm gonna take some ribbon this is just a scrap piece of ribbon I had lying around the house just uh, I'm trying to use up my extras and I'm just going to tie a ribbon, tie a uh, bow, and just kind of get it to the size you want. Now, you don't have to put the ribbon on this. You can embellish this in any way you want to. There's lots of different things you can do. I just had some of this ribbon and I thought it would look pretty on this pink and it would show up a little bit better, help the pink tool to show up a little bit better against that black. Okay. I can trim that a little bit later on. And then I usually like to sew the ribbon in here just to make sure that it stays. I come up from the back and go up in the very middle of the ribbon right there and I go down just a couple stitches okay and then you have something that looks a little bit like this of course I'm going to cut this off just a little bit more here and we'll uh, seal this off here in just a minute now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an embellishment on the middle there I can put something like this pink uh, button now if it's got a little nipple on the back of it a little loop on the back of it you'll want to sew it on uh, or cut it off with some kind of a tool and um, glue it on there hot glue it on there um, I've got some little embellishments in here I thought would look really pretty with it this is I've got the little silver things like this I don't know if you can see it or not I've got these all different sizes I've also got some of these, and this is probably what I'm going to use today. Um, you can use anything. You can use little pearls. Here's some little snowflake ones if you want to make a Christmas one. Uh, you can use some pearls on it. Whatever you decide to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this embellishment for it today. And I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on it. Take my embellishment and put it right there. Make it a little diamond shape. Just like that. Then we're going to take our alligator clip and we're going to take our hot glue gun. We're going, let me trim those up just a little bit. That's got a little bit of few edges on there. I'm not liking it. I'm going to do one strip right across from the felt from one end to the other here. Just a little bit of glue. Again, I'm terrible with glue strings. You're going to take your alligator clip. You're going to open it. Take it in just like that that will adhere it to the alligator clip. Then you're going to take this part and glue it together with this. These two right here are going to glue together just like this. Now this can be used as a hair bow just like it is. You can just glue this directly onto the little girl's hair like this with the clip on the back. But what I generally try to do when I give this away as a gift is I make a headband especially if it's a little baby and they don't have a lot of hair to clip this on 
And you can make this as big or as little as you want it. Some people like those big gigantic things on there, you know, it's about as big as the baby's head. So you can adjust this to whatever the person wants on it.